Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we are going to look at five ways the pill can cause anxiety and what foods you can eat to lower those anxiety levels. So let's get into it. In this episode, we talked about how the stress response of women on birth control gets compromised. Having a less functioning stress response could result in being less able to cope with stress. You might experience symptoms such as irritability, tiredness, as well as feeling overwhelmed and having trouble sleeping. Stress and blood sugar are related and we can therefore manage our stress symptoms by keeping a stable blood sugar. So make sure you include lots of fiber in your diet. When consuming fiber, we don't get that rapid spike in blood sugar that you would get when you consume something like sugary sodas or a donut. Fiber can only be found in plant foods, so fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts and seeds have lots of fiber in them. Make sure you stay hydrated as this can help your body get rid of excess cortisol. In addition to changes in stress response, women's overall cortisol rhythm has shown to be different in pill-taking women. Cortisol rhythm is normally linked with our circadian rhythm, which is a rhythm that keeps your body in sync with the cycles of night and day. So maybe it could be a good idea for your anxiety to try and keep some kind of routine with your meals, as well as your sleep. If, of course, that is something that sounds good and doable for you. You can also give your adrenal gland some love by making a little adrenal cocktail. An adrenal cocktail is a drink that contains vitamin C, potassium and sodium. These three nutrients are important for our adrenal health. And as we know, our adrenals are a very important part of our stress response. You can, for example, mix some freshly squeezed citrus fruits with some coconut water for potassium and some sea salt. Putting alcohol in it will not help, so I guess it's more of a mocktail than a cocktail. We also learned in this video that the pill depletes nutrients like magnesium, zinc, selenium, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin B2, vitamin B6, vitamin b12 and folate which is also a b vitamin let's highlight the vitamins and minerals that have shown to be especially important for anxiety magnesium vitamin b6 and folate are amongst the nutrients that can cause anxiety if you have a deficiency eating lots of leafy greens can provide you with magnesium as well as folate which can help you with anxiety. Avocado is also an excellent source of magnesium, folate and B6. Greens in general will be very good for you as it is super nutritious and full of vitamins and minerals. I know we all know this, but sometimes we need a little reminder, right? Other sources of B6 include bananas and sweet potatoes. You can also make magnesium spray to rub on your skin this is a great way to ensure your body gets enough magnesium as getting sufficient amounts from your diet can be a challenge. Magnesium spray is super easy to make and if you want to make it yourself, you can watch my magnesium oil tutorial that I made in this video. It's also really convenient that dark chocolate has lots of magnesium in it. Yes, I said it, chocolate can help with anxiety. How wonderful, right? I live in Norway and even though it's supposed to be summer over here, it is still cold most days and not exactly the weather for eating lots of salads. So I like to curl up with a hot chocolate. Lentils are also packed with magnesium, so making some lentil soup could also be an option for those of you that also live in cold climates. There are many ways to get your nutritional needs met, so Make sure you pick something that works for you. So in this video, we learned that our body produces natural relaxation drugs called allopregnanolone that stimulate GABA receptors in the brain and make us feel calm and chilled. When you go on the pill, you miss out on these calming benefits from your natural hormones, which means lower levels of GABA activity 
and also not the best news for your anxiety. There are ways you can increase GABA naturally. Examples of GABA foods are potatoes and sweet potatoes, spinach, kale and broccoli, tomatoes, shiitake mushrooms, chestnuts, oats, wheat and barley, and white, black, brown and red rice. Number four, improving your gut health. Okay, so I've talked about gut health multiple times, but it's important to mention when talking about mental health because improving your gut health can really make a difference on your mood, especially since birth control has been linked with gut issues. And those gut microbes like fiber, so including fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds in your diet, as well as fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi and kombucha, could be a good idea. And lastly, the pill can be inflammatory. Studies show that the pill can cause inflammation in the body and it could therefore be a good idea to avoid processed foods as much as possible and to include lots of fresh whole foods into your diet like fresh fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables contain phytonutrients that can help fight inflammation and if you eat a variety of these foods you will get a nice mixture of the different nutrients these plant foods have to offer. Including onion, garlic and ginger in your cooking can also be beneficial for fighting that inflammation. You could also benefit from taking a high dose of DHA omega-3, for example one gram daily. And as I have mentioned before, taking turmeric combined with black pepper has shown to help with inflammation as well. I hope you got some value from this video and if you did, you can subscribe for more videos like this. Take care and I will see you soon.